Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 to 16. Jesus, our great high priest. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. A great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God. To better understand this passage and to see how Jesus fulfilled the Father's wishes that he become the ultimate high priest, let us turn to Psalm 110. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. The Hebrew text states the first reference to the Lord is the word Yahweh, God the Father. The second reference to David's Lord is Adonai, the Messiah. The psalm goes on to explain that Yahweh made the following statement about Adonai. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Jesus passed through the heavens, became man, and was tempted in the same ways which afflict us. But of course he overcame the temptations and remained sinless. Jesus is not an abstract God who judges from afar. He can sympathize with us because, as a human, he too had been tempted. It is important for us to remember what Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your strength, but with the temptation will also provide a way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Jesus, the ultimate high priest, the mediator between God and man, can sympathize with our daily trials, but we must also understand that we, too, could have avoided sin with the mercy and grace that God provided us with when temptation entered our life.